Bright and early first in the morning, head out to Arches and we're going to Window Arches, Turret Arch. It's a nice little congregation at the end of what's called Goblin Valley that just has a nice little area with, with lots of different arches around to shoot. So we thought we would uh, soak, up, soak up the arch uh, viewpoints down there. Got some pretty interesting footage. Ryan went out and kind of um, went around and kind of got more like wide shots down the canyon. I got a good uh, shot of turret from, from Window Arch and actually took a pretty interesting shot through window uh, while it was backlit and I thought it actually looked pretty cool. Sometimes we get some of our favorite shots before going to the location we're supposed to in the morning because we get here a little early. Gives us some time to just crawl around. Here, this is actually more of an evening location. The morning location's over there, but we're just here, so we might as well crawl around. I'm sure we'll get some pretty good shots that we can use on a morning segment. People want to watch the opposite thing we want to watch. They want to watch the sunrise through this, which is, we would rather the sunrise light that. But you can see it's lighting up that right now. So many people to clone out in this shot. It's difficult shooting places with a lot of people because all I can think about usually is how we have to go in and we call it clone stamping, where you take and you basically erase a person or a fence post or whatever, a car. Um, and when a location like this is just crawling with people, I'm just imagining how long it's gonna take to just remove them individually. And when they're moving, it's even harder because I'll get rid of them in one spot, but then they'll just run out and go to another spot. So it takes, it'll take a while. Like any popular national park, our biggest obstacle is people. We don't have people in our shots. When you get, get to hike right up onto a monument and part of it is kind of shooting it from close up, the people become a much bigger obstacle. It's probably the morning, I'm probably extra grumpy. I'm just still trying to wake up and I'm just like, oh, I just want these people out of my shot so bad. Sometimes people just walk right in front of the camera, they don't care. Like, sometimes people are climbing, people are moving. I, I, I just always have to wait for those people to leave. If you wait long enough, there are these little windows where you're the only one there and uh, I was able to kind of get the footage I wanted. We had super magic for a moment there, but it looks like we're clouds for a bit, so we're just checking in. Yeah, it was nice for like five minutes. I got some good stuff. Yeah, I, I, I was lucky enough to get, right when I got to a spot I really liked, it was hidden, I was rushing to get the camera out, and it was perfect. I'm sure the clouds will peak out, or the sun will peak out in uh, like 20 minutes or so. And yet again, magic. It, it started to become apparent to us that we were getting lucky on this trip because the boom or bust scenario of going during storm season was, was a booming. Business was a booming in the photography world. The light came out, it was really beautiful. We got some more of that storm behind the rocks with the rocks all bright and lit up and the clouds got this nice, like calming feel to it. It was really in that moment where I'm, I'm really starting to soak in, okay, this, this, this is going to be a special shoot. This is a special place. This is really cool. That light was so amazing and obviously was going to be super short. I was standing on top of that, that rock, getting that guy and it was amazing. And I got the shot and I'm like, I've got like maybe five minutes and so I just, packed up and I fucking like ran and jumped off the rock and people were like be careful then I happened to get the arch like backlit so I got probably like three or four shots where I was like this is what I live for I was so excited it was good but yeah so uh do you want to shoot more of this spot or maybe travel and see if we get a little bit of luck somewhere else I feel like we have to stop waiting at LaSalle for two minutes and then leaving I think yeah. we should head back there okay yeah, we can sit there and wait. All right, so we're uh, splitting. Ford's gonna stay at LaSalle because it's kind of it's kind of a one-man show at LaSalle, and then we got the courthouse towers one, and we might only have a short window of light and it's kind of a waiting game so I might as well split them up and I can tell Ford really wants LaSalle 
So we're gonna let him uh, stake it out, get that perfect shot. I don't think we're gonna get the sun. I mean, it's pretty thick right there. All the breaking up is happening on the horizon, which is why we got that magic couple minutes this morning. But, you know, maybe the cloud will diffuse the sun, still look good. But that's those decisions you have to make. Do we just stick around here all morning? And I think we made the decision to just kind of burn the morning here and see if we get it. But in the meantime, I'm gonna try to get as many shots as I can while we're waiting for it. So if I wander around, I can find all the cool shots and then when the light happens, I'll just run back to my favorite one. This is what I kind of use this light for while I'm still waiting for our main fella to get lit up here and waiting for the light. I kind of get down into the location to build a segment around it. Um, so obviously this, this mountain is, is our subject of the area, but now I'll get down into things and I'll find other subjects in context of the bigger mountain. So I've got, you know, this cactus main foreground subject, shallow focus, but with this guy in the background blurred out so we still have this, this this little guy is in context of the location. Otherwise, you can get this, this uh, you know, cactus anywhere that has cacti, but this, now we know that this is in that same spot, so I had entered a segment. It's kind of, you know, fluid. Landscape photography is kind of like a metaphor for life, really. It's, you make the decisions, the best decisions you can with the information you got. With the light, do I stay here? Do I move to another location? How do I plan this into the rest of my week? How is this decision gonna affect decisions down the line? Like I'm sure LaSalle, what we were supposed to shoot this morning, ended up being amazing. We might still get it here, we might work out. It looks like solid cloud wall. It made sense to continue to drive while it was really dark. And when we got to this other spot, it was absolutely magic. So the trade-off was, let's use this time to drive and see if we get some magic in a place that has a lot to shoot. I think we got amazing stuff. Stupid. I was just sitting here waiting for it and then all of a sudden this mountain lit up and I was uh, like, ah, oh, here it comes. And I just waited for it and I just, you could just see it come and yeah. then finally hit that. Yeah. And then I could just see it moving towards you. Yeah. I was in a ravine over here shooting this way because it was filtered enough, it looked good. And I'm getting this shot. I was like, this looks really nice still. And then I just kind of, you know how like just before the sun comes out, you start to feel the, the warm up just a touch. I'm like, oh, uh oh. And so I started packing up and did my running thing back to the, the main point. But it, it moved slow enough that I kind of, I got a shot of the mountain here and then here and it held just long enough to kind of move all the way till the main shot. The clouds can be funny that way, but uh, how was it otherwise? That's what I got. Oh, that's, dude, that's beautiful. Holy cow. <laughs> uh, worth the wait. That morning couldn't have worked out any better. We got the magic there and we got back here and it filtered just right. I think that's a beautiful shot. Good job, dude. Yeah, you too. Yes! Oh. Cool. Good morning. Let's eat some Solid. sandwiches. I can do delicate arch, which is 
probably the most famous monument here. Um, a lot of people go down there and get their Instagram photos. Um, and we're gonna go hopefully get a more professional photo. We'll see. We're, our goal is to get there a little early and then wait around. It's gonna be crawling with people and get really good evening light. So we roll up and it's not a long hike. It's just a, a nice elevation gain. We can't leave without getting footage of this thing. Ford has leg this deal, he just powers. Like I train, I train. Like with the pack hiking, I got this like straight vertical two mile hill up back of my house. I do that constantly with these shoes and he just, just, that, it just flies. And anytime you do climb, it doesn't matter how long it is. It's just kind of, if you don't expect it coming, it kind of gets you a little bit. All right, we made it. As you can see, it's beautiful. And like we planned, there's a bunch of people here. People everywhere. There's plenty of people sitting back on like this amphitheater, right? Looking down in the arch, enjoying it. If they were doing that, it, that's not a big deal. We should, but they're waiting in line to go, of course, take their picture in the arch. That we're trying to shoot. You work really hard to get here, and it, there's really only one thing to shoot. So we got here. Um, pretty tough, kind of a short hike, but a tough hike. Um, but the thing is, that's the thing we shoot. So we can only shoot so much of it. So I'm over here getting all the usual angles, but the thing is we, we have a Ryan. He's climbing weird walls, getting angles that no one else has seen. Uh, so I think when we're done here, I think we're actually gonna have a pretty decent amount of footage um, of this one thing. But the thing is I'm, I'm happy we did it just because this thing embodies Arches National Park. So I'm just happy I got to see it and uh, actually get some footage to bring home. So yeah, I'm stoked. Of course, my thing in the crew is kind of trying to be the person that goes out of his way to go different places for the shot, not just stick on the main shot, but like kind of go somewhere different. So I've worked my way around and climbed down into the basin to shoot up at it. The shots aren't as amazing, you know, I mean, that's why, I mean, people don't typically get those, those angles because they want that main angle everyone's seen. And we're gonna get that, but you know, just to fill in the segments, it's nice to go try some other little things out and see what else is there. And I did get some cool shots that I didn't expect to have of some uh, trees, some foliage in front of the arch up high above me. So I'm happy I did that. That was a nice little fill in. It's fun climbing down into that basin. These photos never do it justice. Like seeing it in person, it always just looks bigger, it looks more epic. Knowing that from other places we've been, like seeing a picture of it versus seeing it in real life. I always try my best to shoot in angles that are gonna exemplify how epic this place is. And I, I still don't think it does it justice, but the, the area is incredible. It's sort of a weird, almost like a concert venue shape. Are you happy with what you shot? I mean, I got a couple real good shots. Yeah, we, we, can, uh, we can pack it in. A lot of fun things come from us thinking we're done for the day, and it turns out we're actually not. We were done with Delicate Arch. We're all pretty tired, we're ready. We're gonna go eat, have a beer. The drive kind of runs along the rim, looking over the valley back towards the Sal Mountains and the towers, the courthouse towers. And as we're driving along, we saw these little streaks of light come and cut across the top of the courthouse towers, and we're like, ooh. Oh. That could be nice. I'm always driving, I got my eye on the road, but Ryan's really great at spotting these opportunities while we're driving. We stopped, the light didn't come out, but we were we, we got the chance to scout it. We said, okay, like if there's a storm, we've gotta to try to be here to see if we can get something cutting across these towers. It could be something special. We're driving by and there's a light streak coming out of the clouds and just cutting across that, which looks incredible on these type, this type of landscape and towers. We were a couple minutes late, but we're just discussing what we can do. Maybe we can come back here at a different, a different evening, like, and just wait for it to to cut across. Also, that's freaking cool. Like, yeah, like it's all cool. It's everywhere. 
I don't know. I, I am back on warming up to the idea of just staying in arches. Because <laughs> it's like we got the overlooks in Canyonlands, but they're overlooks, and we keep on pulling up to places, and you're like, oh yeah, I can just shoot that. Oh yeah, I can just shoot that. You're done when nature tells you you're done. You're, you're not done just because you're done with the location. You'll always find these little things when you're just in the car. 